Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I would do something that everybody's doing this time of year, and that's the beauty faves of 2014. Have you been living under a rock? It's 2015 now. So now it's time to look back on all the things we've been using for the past year. Let's start with skincare. We might as well just start with the basics, right? Let's start with the foundation of your face. Okay. Ow. Damn it. Clarisonic! This thing. I purchased this mm, maybe like three months ago. Maybe two-ish, two-ish months ago. Um, and I am obsessed. Every week, once a week, after my work week is done, um, I kind of just give myself an at-home facial and this is the first step to make sure I get all that makeup off, all that gunk out of my skin. Oh, it's nice. It's got this fancy little brush that, can you see it spinning? It spins and it vibrates and just with the motion of you doing this, oh, it's so nice. It's just nice. They have tons of brushes to choose from to replace this one. Um, it charges. I can use this like three or four times on one charge, which is pretty nice. Especially since I'm not using it every day. Fave. This moisturizer. It's the Total Moisture Facial Cream from Benefit. Their Bright Skincare Line or Be Right. I don't know how they say it. Because it's like written B, period, right. So sometimes I say B, right. And then sometimes I hear them saying bright. I don't know. Anyways. It smells like cucumber goodness. This facial cream has literally saved my skin for the winter. Normally, up here in New York, it gets so dry and so... Ugh, cold that my skin just suffers and this stuff is light enough to use under my makeup during the day and heavy enough for me to really have my nice drink of moisture overnight so I use it day and night during the winter I go for it I go I go for it it's got things like mango butter in it so it really gives you that really deep moisture feel and there's like this special ingredient called tri radiance complex in it um, that delivers moisture and then you like you don't have to worry about it it's going to be there for the entire day so this stuff is golden foundation stuff this is the ready set gorgeous foundation fresh complexion foundation in the color 110 it's from covergirl i was not expecting to love this foundation really at all it's about six dollars retail which is super cheap um, and it just gives you like this, this natural finish, not dewy, not matte, just kind of lets you look like you're not wearing anything, which I really love. And I'm wearing it today and I've been wearing it for a while and I love it. Under a concealer, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightening Dark Circle Eraser. It's got this little weird spongy thing on top. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of the spongy thing, but I go along with it because the formula is just so nice. You know what I mean? Basically what I do is I put like a more full um, pigment concealer on first and then I do like the triangle shape with this stuff and blend it in with my beauty blender and I just, I look awake all day when I'm really sleeping. Benefit Cosmetics. We have their um, Hula Bronzer, Matte Bronzer, my fave. We have the Rockator Blush, Rosy Gold, Pigment, really pretty. There it is. Smells really good, really good. And then we have the Their Real Mascara. I use this. Hello? Focus. Focus. Oh, hi. Um, I use this every day in all my tutorials. So you guys know that this is like my favorite thing in the entire world. And I won't ever use anything different. Ever. 
And the last thing we have is the Professional Pro Balm for minimizing the look of my ginormous pores. So I use this under makeup and then I even take it with me for the day to touch up because sometimes, sometimes things don't work out like they should and your makeup doesn't always last like it should. Nyx! 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 I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed a huge incline in interest in Nyx Cosmetics or NYX. Um, I remember when like they first showed up on the makeup scene, like maybe six or seven years ago, and nobody really used them, and I kind of ordered like a bunch of stuff from, um, from cherryculture.com. And I didn't know what I was ordering. I was just going crazy um, with pencils and all sorts of things. And now they are so huge. I love their butter lip glosses. I love their creamy round lip sticks things. I love, these are the um, Simply Vamp crayons. This is in, what's the name of you? Bewitching. Just a really awesome, like, vampy wine color. Yeah. Their soft matte lip creams. Amazing. And these are their Chunky Dunk uh, lip crayons, which are new to me. And I can't get them at work, so I have to order them online. But they're really nice, to, like, on an easy makeup day where you just want a little bit of color. It works out. It works out. Eyebrows. You guys know how I do my eyebrows now, right? I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. It's just like a creamy consistency. So you get like a really nice sculpted brow. However, I'm a little bit more natural. So over that, I use Benefit's Gimme Brow, which is like a brow gel with fibers in it. And it just blends everything nicely together. Makes it look a little less harsh. I call this the Supreme Dream Team. My last and final thing, which is something I really don't talk about all that much, but it's perfume. Ooh, I feel so fancy. This is from Lancome. It's La Vie et Belle. And I saw this on HSN, like, not that long ago. Um, and they were talking about, like, signature fragrances and how important it is for, like, someone to find their fragrance that's, like, perfect for them. And I really haven't found mine yet. And I was interested. So I looked at work to see if we had this one, and we did. And I really like how it smells. It's... It's a little bit on the sweet side, but it wears very nicely. It doesn't wear too strong. It's sexy, which I never would use that word to describe anything that has to do with me or me or whatever. But it smells sexy and it's fresh but warm. So it's a nice blend of certain things. And throughout the day, you really get to experience all the notes that are in it. Um, and it's really nice. I got this set. I got this with the roll ball and the hand cream just because I was looking for a value because it is a rather expensive fragrance i mean most of them are nowadays anyway but this was like 80 dollars for this size so for 80 dollars i got all three of those items so i was like cool so i tend to wear this one more at night and i also really like mark jacobs daisy dream for during the day i don't have the full size yet but i have the roll ball so that's really nice clean fragrance i like it for during the day especially during spring and summer they call this the crystal smile. Ooh, that's trippy. But you see how it's smiling at you? So that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it and please give it a big thumbs up if you do because that's how I know that you guys like the videos that I'm putting out there. So, pew pew, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I put new videos up every like Tuesday and Friday, hopefully. Hopefully. Also, you can follow me on all of my social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. All the links are down below. I will see you in my next video. I love you. <sighs> Goodbye.